We're on our way to the Fest Parker Winery to meet with Dan. How hey you guys, doing? How you doing? He's a Santa Barbara local and a collector of non-lethal weaponry. This guy's going to know if our gun is trash or treasure. When it comes to mid-century, I know my stuff. But this is the wrong century for me. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? This, holy <laughs> This is amazing. This is a Daisy first model air rifle. This is just a classic piece of American history that you got here. It's a spring-loaded action that compresses air, so when you fire the trigger and pull it, it just releases that air in a quick burst. It really is just like the holy grail of BB guns. You can see Daisy, 1889, Plymouth, Michigan. See, originally, the founder of the Plymouth Windmill Company, they made iron windmills, came up with an idea for a wireframe air gun. Now, the president at the time loved the idea and fired it and uh, said, wow, that's a daisy. That was colloquialism at the time for that's really cool. So the name stuck, and they decided to manufacture them as a promotional item to give away with windmills. Can't believe that these were actually made as a promotional item. This really started the air gun revolution. Does that actually shoot a BB? Actually, what they originally shot was birdshot from a shotgun shell. Oh, crap. And the size of it was BB. That's why they got the name yeah. BBs. Was this the first one ever? No, this was not the first one ever. Air guns themselves have actually been in production since about the 1700s in Europe. What do you think the value of this particular gun would be? These have gone at auction for upwards of $10,000. Yeah, like I said, this is a classic piece of American history. I'd say somewhere around maybe 20 of these currently exist. One of 20? Absolutely. I cannot tell you how much I want to walk away with this thing today. 10 grand worth of want to walk away with it? Not 10 grand worth. In the condition it's in, as long as it fires, I'd say probably around seven, five, eight grand. I'm scared to sell you a gun that I might be reading about five years from now, hearing that you sold it for 20. Okay, I can understand that. How's this? If this shoots and can break a bottle, I'd be willing to go as high as 9,000 for this. And if it doesn't shoot? Highest I'll go, 4,500. All right. Absolutely. After we spent all that money at the auction, it's good to hear that guns worth some serious cash. Yes, but please break the bottle. Otherwise, we're out 4,500 bucks. I got this one. <laughs> 